Hey guys, this is Goni here from Tech4Joy and in this video, we are going to review the Intex Aqua Power Plus. And this device is a mid-range device from Intex. And this device is a big, very big device. And this device is priced for around 9000 rupees in India, online as well as offline. And Intex brought this device in the market. And this device also has the front facing camera for selfies and below that front facing camera it is a 5 inch HD IPS display with 294 ppi and this device supports a 5 megapixel front facing camera and a 30 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash both cameras can shoot videos up to 720p and on the right side we have the volume rockers with power button on the bottom we have the main microphone and USB syncing port and on the left hand side we have nothing moving towards the top we have the 3.5 mm audio jacks for the headphones and let me increase the brightness now let me turn on the Wi-Fi network and then we browse the browse some websites let me show you the specifications of this device now these are the specifications and this device is powered by android 5.0 lollipop and it is a mediatek chipset and it is a quad core processor based on one point based on Cortex A7 and it is a 1.3 GHz processor and it has Mali 400 MP2 GPU and regarding the storage we have 16 gigs of internal and 32 gigs of external storage regarding the RAM we have the 2 gig 2 gigabyte DDR3 RAM and we have 30 megapixel rear facing camera and 5 megapixel front facing camera both can shoot videos up to 720p Regarding the connectivity, we have Wi-Fi with mobile hotspot, Bluetooth version 4.0, GPS and micro USB 2.0 and it has dual SIM capability. Regarding the display, it has IPS LCD 5 inch 720p display with 294 ppi. Moving towards the battery, we have removable lithium ion 4000 mAh big battery and regarding the sensors, we have the accelerometer and proximity sensor. So you are not getting the ambient light sensor. Anyway, let's go on. Now let's browse some websites. Let's go to Rediff.com. By default, it will go the go to the mobile version of Rediff.com. As you can see it loads it quickly. Let me force it to desktop version. And in the desktop version as well it is loading it very quickly. So you will have a you will have a great experience browsing website on this phone. The details are also good, the colors are very good because it has a IPS grid display. Now let me show you the Android version. Go to about phone. As you can see the Android version is 5.0 Lollipop. So you are getting Lollipop out of the box. Now let's check the storage. Right now I have 7 gigs of available storage but out of the box you will get about 10 gigs of internal storage available. So you can install apps on there. Let me swipe this away. Now this device is a very very aggressive device and it has 2 gigs of RAM. Let me show you the dialer. Now this is the default dialer that comes with Android Lollipop. Now let me open the back cover and show you the things inside it.
this is the battery and this is the sim card one slot and here will go your second sim and this is the micro sd card let me put the back cover This device is very fluid to operate. Now let me run some game to show you how how is the gaming performance of this device. Now I am running this game. This is the Call of Duty Strike Team. Now this is a very huge game it is about of uh, I think 1.5 gigs we will play this for a few minutes let me select the mission let's select this and one thing I have to mention is that this is a very high, high huge game and this will take about 3 to 4 minutes to load so the loading time on this game is very high but on other games like Asphalt 8 it is not that high so you will have a great gaming experience on this device because it has the 2 gig RAM now the game has been loaded and uh, let me increase the brightness let's play this Let me skip this. Now as you can see we have loaded the game and the mission is started now. Now one thing I have mentioned is that as you can see I am touching the corners of the screen but the corners are not as accurate as the centers of the screen. Near the corners of the screen, the touch is some sometimes works perfectly fine, but sometimes it doesn't work at all. Now let's play this game. But there is a little bit of lag sometimes when there is action is going. As you can see, when I am firing the phone tends to lag a little bit the major con I found while playing games is that that when you touch around the corners the phone doesn't re respond sometimes but anyway let's play the game and this device doesn't get heat up that much after playing games for around 10 to 15 minutes it the temperature was around 10 14 40 to 45 degrees I guess but this device can heat up a little bit more if you are outdoors if you are in outdoor environment so that's one thing I have mentioned is that this device gets a lot of software updates I have this device for about three to four weeks now and in this period I get two three software updates so you are getting latest updates from index This device is a very big device and it is pretty hard to hold in one hand. Now, this device, is, device has a dual sim functionality. And now let me show you the power saving modes this device has. This device has an amazing power saving mode that can give you more battery. Now as you can see this is the super power mode. By enabling this mode, you will get about 6.3 days of standby time as you can see. 
at 42% battery. By starting this, you will get only the necessary things like dialing a number or browsing websites, calculator, clock, etc. For exiting, you have to press the menu key and tap the exit button. Now this is the default launcher of the phone. Earlier I was running the Google Now launcher. Now this is the default launcher. Now let me show you one thing that this device is very big. The display quality of this phone is awesome I would say. It is great in color accuracy and in details also. Let me give you a physical comparison. Now this is the Moto E first generation. Now as you can see if I compare it with this phone, this phone is very big. Now this phone is pretty hard to hold in one hand and it does not provide any grip. It is too slippery in one hand. Now the camera is good in outdoor lighting but in indoor lighting it is nothing. The front facing camera also performs same. Now the device is very fluid in operating but it is not accurate in the corners. No, the proximity sensor is not that accurate. Uh, let me show you. Let me dial a number. Now I am dialing a number. When I put a finger above the proximity sensor, right now it is working fine. But sometimes the screen tends to light up when you are on the phone. And the LED backlight are not that accurate. The audio output from the 3.5mm headphone jack is not that great and the audio from the earpiece is not that great I would rate it about 6.5 out of 10 and what do I feel from the performance of the device this device is a good device from Intex and if you like this video give this video a good thumbs up and if you don't like it, pour it down. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video.